He suggested we get loose in the first take of this video. Yeah. It just made me more tense. God damn it. It seemed like yeah, it. Like, what I was the like, fuck says you... get loose? If anything, I'm the straight man and you're the loose I'm man. The I'm the loose guy? You're definitely loose. In many <laughs> you know what ways. was loose for sure though? My stool. My stool. <laughs> The boards in my bed were loose. <laughs> I was trying to get to Holy Jesus. What is that? What the fuck is that? What is that, Private Pile? Sir, jelly donuts, sir. A jelly donut? Are you allowed to eat jelly donuts, Private Pile? Sir, no, sir. And why not, Private Pile? Sir, because I'm too heavy, sir. Because you are a disgusting fat body, Private Pile. Yeah, so, okay, so what are these fat milestones that we reached? Uh, well, you just kind of breaking the sound barrier, yeah. if you will, of, of fatness. <laughs> because you've already literally broken, uh, what was it, first a chair? Then a, what was next? Another chair? Oh, yeah, two And chairs. then uh, I think there was a third chair? No, there wasn't was a third chair. Stra you've been breaking strata of chair. I you've, feel like... you've, like, gone from normal chair... I, well, to metal chair to outright couch. Couch? When yeah. did I break a couch? The the green couch that you literally toppled oh, over well, it. Well, let me just shatter it. Let me let me defend myself. The first chair I broke My was couch over... needed defense. Damn, homie. <laughs> Come on, guy. I feel like you're throwing me under the bus. Not a little bit. Anyway, uh, we we the first chair I had was over 15 years old, mm -hmm. and it was a public freaking motel chair before that so it's been around the freaking uh corner block, is that yeah. a thing well, around the corner around no. the block that's hookers so that boy finally gave out after almost 20 years of service to our country mm -hmm. and then i got a cheap ass chair that was not supposed to fit anyone over 250 pounds i'm twice that amount so it broke it shattered even and then you gave me this green chair which I thought was going to shatter instantaneously, but it lasted almost half a year. Yeah. So and then it and shattered to smithereens. It, the chair itself didn't break. The, the support, spring The support broke. broke. And no, it was a tiny little piece of metal that was holding the entire thing together. And metal, guy. <laughs> but it was a paint. Uh, it was like lamina, guy. You know what that means. The, po <laughs> the point <laughs> and is. And I sat on that boy and it shattered. It shattered, But it guy. was after a year, guy. And, and it was also old. And then you couldn't get up. Don't forget that me. part. Well, that's because I fell backwards. True. And then I finally got this fat ass chair, and I broke, I broke one of the wheels. But that's because those <laughs> wheels are cheap as hell. I have to replace the wheels. I, I argue that if it's a fat ass chair for fat asses, TM, uh, it should, it should have good wheels on it. I, that's so what you I'm, think. I'm positing that it did have good wheels, no. and you still busted that. I part. actually, I read, I read the Amazon listing, and the manufacturer recommends you replace the wheels. What kind of fucking ruse is that? I think it's because they put all the money into the metal frame of the thing <laughs> that they like, can't get the. We can't get wheels in this boy. So yes, I did break a couple chairs, but then. Uh, but you went up in strata. Would you agree? You started first with that old ass chair that's been around the block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you shattered that boy. Yeah, shattered. Smithereens, yes. specifically. I, confetti. I wanted to fix even. that boy, but Shreds. you all were like against it for some reason. Yeah, there's no fixing that boy. I I could could that shit was boy. hanging on with webs. I could fix it, guy. Webs of fabric that was itself strengthened by mugre that had accumulated over the years. Nah, homie. Dude, that chair was was slick with like I'm assuming body fluids. No, nah, not guy. like sexual body fluids. Just generally, it had accumulated a skin. You know, kind of like tapioca that's, that's gets a like skin years, after a while. That's like years of use, guy. You, you yeah, that's to... what was holding it together. No, move it was it. the... Come on, guy. Anyway, like, can we move on from the movie? Okay, but you, what I'm saying is you went from mugre to chair to... to uh, no one knows what mugre is. It's uh, dirt. It's, it's grime. Grime. Slimy, tapioca skin grime. Okay, move on. Okay, you moved on. You, you broke that chair. Then you went to the metal chair in the kitchen. Then you did the, the couch. So you moved up in, you know, in strata of chair. Yeah. The next step would have been like fucking a pure titanium framework. Well, that's the thing. Framework. Mom actually got me a commission chair that was made of titanium. Oh, the metal chair. But that one didn't break. That one's still there. It it's did. just, you, it was so immense. And it was like disbalanced. No, nah, I didn't even mind that. It's just I would sit on it and I was literally dangling my little tootsies. Yeah, it was And immense. I couldn't, and then it hurts your back because it's literally made out of metal. It, so you know, I couldn't do it, guy. You know what it reminded me of? A prison benches. Prison benches are designed in such a way that you're 
you're uncomfortable when you're sitting that's down. That's what it is. They're at, at like a really steep angle. Yeah. Excuse me. That motherfucker was steep. Well, it is steep because it's still there. It's actually our fish viewing chair now. Yeah. TM. Yeah. Uh, so you. Well, also, I gotta say, uh, rest in peace, White Mike. One of our fish died. Mm -hmm. Dead as hell. <laughs> Courtesy of me cleaning the fucking tank. <laughs> yeah, you murdered. Every time I clean the fucking tank, some fucking fish gets murked, man. And anyway. then we cook them up. Fat moment. Yeah. Anyway, uh, the point is, yeah, yeah. So you rose up in straddle of a chair, breakage yeah. style. So the next logical step was you're gonna break straight fucking metal. But you didn't. I didn't. You got rid of that, and instead you decided to shatter your fucking bed to smithereens. Whoa, hold on. Again, I gotta freaking explain. I've had this bed for at least over... You know what? That chair had been actually around for more than 15 years, because I've had this bed for 12 years. Okay. Um. So I gotta I give more kudos to we, that We gotta clarify chair. that that bed itself was commissioned. Yeah, because... And it was made of, like, I think, like, redwood... Logs yeah, was carved by dwarves. <laughs> what? Strong guy. I don't, think, I don't guy. think they break wood, do they? Mm, well, they do now. They for do you. now. Diggy, diggy hole. <laughs> so yeah, they were diggy, digging my hole. And <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> wait, uh, what? <laughs> yeah, like I, I. Well, look, I've been kind of depressed lately. Yeah. Uh, and I, I take a page out of Al's book and sleep and just all day. Isolate and yeah. then, like hate on your boys. <laughs> sleep all day. And then your your video about uh, fun memories is just you hating Shitting on your, on your fucking boys. boys. Yeah. The few people in my inner circle I have I really truly care about. Some I like, some I can't fucking stand. And this one friend who I couldn't stand, <laughs> he lunges at me and I kick him. I kicked him to the point where I felt the tip of my foot go under his ribs. And I hope he sees this and I hope it pisses him off, right? Five fucking blows in the ribs. The same ribs where my foot went under when we when we had the lightsaber fight a, a few years earlier. Fuck, I just fucking elbowed this cocksucker five times in the fucking ribs. And he's a smug fuck, right? Smug, bad haircut fuck, right? Who, at this point, I don't care if I ever see again. I joke around too, but I know not to fuck with people's personal property. I run towards the car, and they have it in park, right? I run towards the fucking car and belly flop on this fucking car. I grab a fucking broom, and I fucking spear it at Harold. Because, again, you know, I didn't want to kill him. But I definitely wanted to fucking inflict damage on him. You know, nothing permanent. But enough to let you know to stop fucking around. Trying to buy a crappy ass Titanic that you're not going to do anything with. <laughs> except for freaking uh, look at it and hate it. I'm, I, uh, I gotta admit, sometimes, uh, just a little a side quest here. Yeah. Sometimes I'd be watching Alvids and I'm like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, granted, right now we're his, talking about strata yeah, chair breaking. His but... fun stories was literally just him shitting on his freaking boys, dude. Anyway, uh, yeah, so so I've, I've been on my bed a lot, and uh, I've bed. been doing freaking this, I was doing this thing where I would jump on the bed, uh, and I, one of these days, I jumped on that boy, and it just shattered. Also, I had COVID when, when it shattered. Mm -hmm. So after it shattered, I couldn't get up, and I had to use, I had to help have my, or like, I don't know, 60-pound mom help me. I don't know how much What was did. I? What was uh, you was were I here? Yeah, you were over here. Uh -huh. And I couldn't get up, so I, ha I she literally gave me a hand and somehow carried me out of there. That's that mom strength. No shit. And then uh, we had to take Dad the or bed out. she was out. like fucking suicidal. She, she was, was like, I'm going no, down. She guys. was laughing at me again. But anyway, yeah, I broke the bed. Um, I don't think it was... shattered the bed, guy. Uh, look, I also got to say that I have this bad habit of when I'm in bed, I rock my feet back and forth to rock myself to sleep mm -hmm. and i had been doing that for uh, over 12 years and i could literally feel the legs get, get give out and i was still doing it so yeah, i kind of like the, you know you're oh, never mind i'm not even gonna bring that up because it's gonna huh? go down an entirely different avenue that's not fat oh, i mean it is fat, fat right? but we'd have to explain a whole different thing and it's just it's out of the question. i feel like i want to know now it's about the wall Oh, the wall's broken. Yeah, that wall, that wall is broken. You, your wall is broken, and it just happens to be right up against where you sleep. Yeah. And I'm like, guy, you're breaking the wall. It's going to kill yeah, you. I'm not breaking the, the wall. has been broken since I cleaned the fungus wall. I yeah, literally yeah. took the thing off, and it was already broken, sinking in. Yeah, guy. yeah, yeah. But I'm saying it's broken literally at it the is, level yeah. where you sleep. It is, guy. And that's not good. 
Well, yeah, you know, we got it's fix literally my wall? can't be fixed. Oh, there you go. <laughs> you can't fix. You live in an Adobe house. Yeah. Which, by the way, what is that? <laughs> what, how the fuck house, do we guy? live in an Adobe house? That's weird. But anyway, it's, it's not fat it's, though. No, it's not fat. It's Mexican. If what is fat is you shattering that fucking wall. Adobe is like almost impossible to fix. You yeah. literally need to get an expert in Adobe, and they're gonna be like, I'm probably not gonna be able to fix it. We've but. literally had experts fix fix the house, and they didn't fix the wall. So yes. no, you can't. Anyway. But anyway, the point is. You're right, you that were, was not fat-related, though. I shouldn't but, have brought but it up. you were always like, I'm not doing it. But here you are admitting that you're rocking and yeah. you're literally kicking. But I don't, I don't Carving kick, into the no, wall. I don't kick the wall. I touch the wall with my toe, and then I rock my entire body back and forth. Yeah, but you just, you're like a, a behemoth of a man. But I barely touch, look. I doing give, this against the, the amount, wall. The amount of pressure is equal to this. Nah. Okay. It is. Because I've done it. You're pushing enough of your body... To move but it. I move my body forward. You're it's, humping at the same time? It's basically a hump. A, 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 a helped hump. The fact that... Hashtag there's held hump? Help hump. TM. Yeah. Uh, the fact that you're using the wall as any form of leverage is not good. It's yeah. not leverage. It's just there. Like, it's something then, I touch. If it's not leverage, don't use the it's wall. It's like then. when I freaking do the BVS with my fingers. It's just a thing I do. I'm going to say you're I shattering that, that wall. I know you do. It's disgusting. You also mm-hmm. do the pube thing still. No, I don't ask how I, I know. Haven't, I haven't done that in a while. Oh yeah, whose pubes am I eating then? <laughs> <laughs> you said that this was a fat move. I just want to bring it up. Mm-hmm. We ate a subway, and I ate a meatball sub. Already a fat thing. <laughs> we didn't eat the subway to be non-fat. No, no, no. we just were like we're tired, tired of, of all the other places. disgusting <laughs> fatty foods. Let's go eat some subway, which yeah, is also fatty yeah, and disgusting and sugary. So, as hell. so I was eating the freaking the sugar bread. And then afterwards on the way home... That illegal bread that's not bread yeah. in some fucking nation. On the way home after we got snacks, because we're, <laughs> cause we're fat, <laughs> I burped and it smelled like pure meatball. And I was like, God, that smells like meatball. And I went like this. And I was like, ah, oh, it stinks. And, and like, you're like, that's, that's fat. fat. You know what I'm saying? I, f- I argue that other people burp and go, that stinks. So it's not... Yeah, but the the way you do it is weird, guy. You're like... Bleh! And you're like, fuck! <laughs> That's It's too hot! Who fucking does that? Just be like, excuse me, and be like, I'm I don't know, say... roll down the window or some shit. Nah. Fuck! Nah, the fuck is that shit, man? I mean, I'll give it That's to you. That's fat. I'll give it to you. Now, anyway. hey, look, you're not alone, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we gotta get to yours. Yours really was the most epic one. I don't know how we spent no, 16 minutes on you the bed. Fucking shattering beds is pretty epic, but the point is, um, God damn it. How do you... Even... Okay, well, we were toy hunting, and uh, we went to the Goodwill because you got to hit that boy up. Even though they never have toys. toys. Yeah, they never movies have... mainly yeah. for us. Uh, and uh, I, I walked in. You were behind me. Uh, you know, I open the door, take a step in, and I'm about to take the second step when I realize I can't step forward more than at, maybe half a foot. At this point, I look forward... And look down and see your pants on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> My pants just fucking fell, guys. And I was in shock. I was just like, "What the hell just happened?" They fell so fast, and I uh, saw them. I saw them fall, and it looked like they were spring loaded, dude. Like, <laughs> like you had springs on this, each side of your pants. It went, just went <laughs> like that. Yeah. Also, some lady saw. Two ladies saw. Them. Well, one for sure. One for sure. The yeah. one coming this way yeah. was also a good wool worker, and there was one straight ahead that I'm a hundred percent sure that she saw. Uh, one gave the stink eye, so she did see this. Mm-hmm. It was this one, but uh, yeah, I literally took half a step in, and your pants, and broke. my pants shot down. <laughs> you know, like fucking when I don't know, guy, the bullet from Lee Harvey Oswald's fucking mm-hmm. rifle, guy. That shit was fast shot. and to the left. Shot her long. That motherfucker, the world. dude. I think I got my historical yep. uh, things mixed up. I'm not a I'm not a student of history like Al. That's a good point. Uh, I am, however, a student of my fucking shorts falling down. Well, actually, my pants fell down, and I had shorts underneath, yeah. thankfully, because usually balls are hanging. Balls right? hanging. But uh, I don't understand how the fuck that happened. The only logic that I could come up with is that I'm fat. The other alternative yeah. theory is that since I was wearing these shorts, which are made of kind of like this weird sleek, yeah, sleek material, boy. there was no grab to these pants. You know? So those fuckers just shot down, guys. Slick boys. I've uh, I gotta also say that this would be a devastating thing. I actually told someone they were like, "Man, I would be devastated if my pants fell." If, if their pants fell, but I gotta say, who'd you tell? Someone. Who'd you tell, gay? Some chick. You told her that my pants fell. I gang? told her that your pants fell. And then I laughed at Come you. Come on, gay. Anyway, was she hot? No. Oh, I'm good. Then. 
<laughs> anyway, uh, your pants fell, mm-hmm. uh, and I would say that would be more devastating if you had not previously, a year ago, literally stood in front, in the middle of a GameStop, and de-pantsed yourself for fun. <laughs> I also did it in the Popeye's parking lot once. Damn, I don't remember that you one. remember no, that one? Homie. Man, I strutted like a chicken, boy. Yeah, homie. Yeah, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've been locked up. But, uh, yeah, your butthole's literally been in Don't another... get me wrong, I'll be I'd be embar- I'd, uh, embarrassed if if my fucking dingling was showing. Yeah, that. dude, ding. And it it's not even because the dingling would be showing, it's because it's tragically small. <laughs> That's the embarrassing You're part. You're a short dick man. <laughs> I'm a short dick man, guy, like that shitty ass fucking song which we might have to put a clip oh, in just because it. it's so annoying. <laughs> To a case in point, when the fucking Goodwill thing happened, I didn't even fucking flinch, really. I just picked up my pants and started yeah. laughing because it, it was us, funny it to me. It later. We were like, holy shit, your yeah. pants just freaking exploded yeah. off of you, guy. There was literally a gunshot sound. For anybody accuses of reveling, nay, wallowing in our fucking fat, first... Look, look at your way. fatness. Second... Bitch, look at your fatness. Bitch, look at your fatness. Second... You ain't a prize. You are actively trying to lose weight, miraculously. I say that because you were previously... Uh, I give up a lot. Yep. So I'm doing it in the way that I hopefully will last longer instead mm-hmm. of jumping into a freaking... Into ex- a bed and breaking it. God damn it. Jumping into an extreme uh, regimen like we usually do. I'm mm-hmm. trying to ease into we? it. We? I'm extreme regimen guy now? Yeah, you were kind of like, dude, we got to do this extreme regimen. And then it kind of killed me a little bit. And I was actively getting unhealthier somehow in my tests. Well, that's because uh, your body has to get used to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm trying to ease into it this time. So I'm just kind of like when I get, when I'm satisfied with eating, I'm just kind of stop instead of gorging myself. Yeah. And I have lost a sur- surprising amount of weight with it. Mm-hmm. I can reach my asshole again. So that's, that's cool. cool. But I also broke my bed. So that's not cool. So that's a thing. Yeah. So that's a too fat. Two fat facts, yeah. Tammy gained uh, 100 pounds in a month, dude. Yeah. And, uh, you know, of course, the yeah, physical... stone wall is my Tammy comment. Well, the, I mean, she did. What am I going to say? <laughs> <laughs> All I can say is look at your fatness, Tammy. 